In this section, we are talking about the arena viruses. Some people say, practice until you get it right. But I say, practice until you can't get it wrong. So let's go. Can you identify the following recurring symbols? This moon is representing negative sense single-stranded RNA viruses. Uh, but the arena viruses, they have the ability to incorporate the positive sense, right? The positive strands. So uh, they are referred to as ambisense, right? This envelope is representing uh, enveloped viruses. So arena viruses have an envelope. And this helix is saying the arena viruses have a helical capsid, right? Um, above that, the arena viruses are segmented, right? And our mnemonic here again, boarding flight 382 in 10 to 12 minutes, meaning banya viruses with three segments, orthomix viruses with eight segments, arena viruses, what we are doing right now, two segments, and the real virus, 10 to 12 segments right so the number of segments is very important you need to know okay so um the segments of the arena viruses they are secular segments right so here i represented like two secular segments right oh uh, in addition to that um uh, on electron microscope the arena viruses they appear as a grain or sandy right so they have a grain or sandy appearance Right, so here we have uh, one main uh, important virus we want to talk about in this family, and it's called lymphocytic choriomeningitis virus, right? So the disease caused by this virus is uh, lymphocytic choriomeningitis or encephalitis. And the reservoirs are actually rodents, particularly the rats. And uh, how is it transmitted to humans? Because this virus is actually, uh, it's not for us. Humans are actually incidental hosts. So transmission is through uh, contact with excretions or materials contaminated with excretions of an infected rodent. For example, uh, if the urine of the infected rat gets in contact with um, food. In terms of geographical distribution, the lymphocytic choriomeningitis virus is mainly found in Europe, Australia, Japan, North America, and South America. Right, uh, for the sake of completeness, I shall also mention the Lassa virus. Okay, so Lassa uh it's a village in nigeria that's where it was first detected right uh this virus the lassa virus causes lassa fever and the reservoirs for this virus are the rodents right so it's same thing and again in terms of transmission it's just the same conduct with excretions or materials contaminated with uh, the excretions of the infected rodent right uh, in terms of geographical distribution, as I said, uh, it okay mainly in West Africa, right? Okay, so now let's review uh, what we covered so far, right? So this is our, our classification of RNA viruses, double-stranded and single-stranded, right? Positive sense or positive strands and negative strands, right? And here on positive uh, st stranded or positive sense we have naked and enveloped and here i've been saying this again negative sense rna viruses uh they have an envelope right and the double stranded one we did not cover it so far right and it's naked is only one real virus okay so we covered picona virus calice virus toga virus flavi virus Coronavirus, retro, that's HIV, banya virus, orthomix virus, that's influenza, paramix, so that's mumps, uh, measles, and um, para influenza. Right, uh, 
rhabdovirus yeah so this one was rabies we covered it bullet shaped and arena that's in this video and philo philo virus here's ebola and marbeck viruses right so in the next video we are going to cover the rio virus right which is the double stranded rna virus and from there we'll cross over to dna viruses Thank you.